Hi everyone, my name is Biohack and this is the first video in a series I'm calling Video Science where I explore some of the game's more hidden mechanics using the scientific method to uncover and answer some players most popular questions. In this episode we're going to be looking at AP scaling and particularly we're going to be interested in the effect of the main hand weapon on awakening damage as well as things like the offhand crystals uh, and whether attack power is equivalent to AP. A number of other people have tested this mechanic in the past. However, uh, testing it has always been a little difficult due to the fact that it's thought that both accuracy and AP of main hand weapons contribute to awakening weapon damage. And therefore, any difference you observe can't be determined to be either accuracy or AP. The way I tested this avoids that problem because I use the skill uh, of the Lancia called Purificatione right here. And the nice thing about this skill is it has 100% accuracy, meaning that the attack cannot miss. And therefore, we can get much more reliable numbers and we can avoid this problem of the main hand accuracy contributing to the effect. So the way I tested it is I took off all the gear on my character and I dueled a level 55 Berserker and I removed all the gear from that character as well. And we did between 20 and 30 attacks with the Purificatione skill, recording the Berserker's HP before and after. And we did this at a variety of different points. So the first thing I did was I equipped an Elsh longsword along with my Tri Dandelion Lancia. I removed all of my other gear. So I'm starting with 11 AP uh, main hand and 110 AP with the Awakening. We did between, I guess it was actually 10 and 30 attacks with Purificatione, recorded the HP before and after, and then we equipped a variety of different accessories to gradually increase our AP and record the data at every single point. So I'm going to pull up the plot, and it looks something like this. So down here is our baseline with the Elf Sword and the Tri Dandelion Lancia, going all the way up uh, to increasing the different levels of um, AP. What we can see looking at this graph right away, if you look at the line here, is that it has a very linear correlation. Uh, the R-squared value was 0.99. Um, so this uh, is important. Um, a lot of players have hypothesized things like a AP threshold where once you get above a certain threshold you start doing more damage. This would seem to uh, dis Encourage that from being the truth. That, that probably is not accurate. Um, another thing you'll notice is that the error bars are very low. These error bars represent the standard deviation of our attacks. Um, this is because we're using that Purificatione skill. Uh, this means that it has a... Uh, the accuracy is very likely not contributing to this. I will note that all critical attacks were removed from this data set. Uh, critical attacks were detected either with a critical hit notification or if the damage was significantly above the normal standard deviation. So there are a couple of points on this graph that I want to I wanna draw your attention to. So the first is uh, the main hand weapon. So uh, it's commonly been thought that the main hand contributes about 50% of its AP to the awakening weapon damage, and we something, see something similar here. However, one thing that's interesting is I have two points highlighted on the graph. This is the amount of damage that I got with the main hand uh, with the experiment. Um, it came out to, uh, I think it was about 217. Uh, and this is what we would predict with the Awakening, if, if it was in fact contributing 50% damage. So that would be an extra, I think, if we look at the difference between the Elsh Sword and the Kazarka, um, we're looking at about, this has, uh, Elsh Sword has about 11.5, and Kazarka has about uh, 58. So the damage we would expect it to be about a 40 AP increase. Um, what we actually see looking at our graph is about a 41 AP increase. This, if you look, they notice that the, the error bars are quite below the, the line. So this is probably a statistically significant result. But either way, it's, it's about 50% um, of the main hand weapon contributing to, uh, to the awakening weapon damage. Um, another interesting point to note is what I mentioned earlier, the effect of offhand crystals. So I have two points right here. If we assume that the uh, offhand crystal from the awakening weapon damage does not contribute to um, 
or the, the offhand crystal does not contribute to the awakening weapon damage. We get the point I was just uh, highlighting a minute ago, right here. The offhand crystal I'm talking about is the one I have in my Axion shield right here, which is uh, 100 HP and attack power plus 5. So if I go back to my graph real quick, if you notice that if I assume that it's applying uh, 214 AP, which is what my AP is if I equip all of this gear, that's sheet AP is 209, 214 is if we assume that that uh, hidden plus 5 is actually contributing. What am I missing? A few more pieces. No, oh, Axion, there we go. Okay, so 209 AP. If we assume that it's giving 214 AP because of that attack power plus 5, we get this point on the graph. As you can see, it fits up very nicely with our linear correlation, um, indicating that it is, in fact, the case that the offhand awakening crystal contributes to awakening weapon damage. Um, so there you go. If this kind of content is interest to you, please uh, go ahead and click subscribe. I'm going to hopefully be doing a lot more testing of this, things like the effect of DP on damage scaling, um, and I'm also going to be looking at various different life skills and doing a bunch of math on stuff like that. Um, so if that kind of content is interested, interests you, please hit the subscribe button. I'm also started streaming on Twitch under the pseudonym BiohackTV, uh, so you can check me out there, and I'll put the link in the description below. Thanks.